Hello, Jazzcut here. Welcome to an IMVU Studio overview on meshing up furniture for IMVU. Before we start, although Blender is used for illustrative purposes, the material and topics covered here apply to 3D Studio Max as well as other content authoring tools. And basic knowledge using 3D and 2D software will also be needed. With that out of the way, let's take a quick look at what furniture is. Simply put, furniture is a class of items that can be placed inside a room. They can be interactive or non-interactive, floor standing, wall or ceiling mounted, static or animated interest add-ons. Items that describe or enhance a room's appearance or purpose, its function or an activity therein. Like to dance? Those spots on the ceiling are likely furniture items. In other words, anything can be furniture so long as it's set up the way that IMVU expects. So, let's take a look at this. For new items, it's best to use an example file as a starting point, as they'll be correctly scaled and include all the necessary elements to produce a functional item. Opening one of these, we see the basic mesh object, the element visible to the user, and the invisible root object used by IMVU to determine where the product is positioned in a room. In this example, the item is a simple box and set up as it is would be a non-interactive, non-animated object. In IMVU, it would be positioned on furniture nodes, but not do much else. Taking a look at the mesh, it has an IMVU formatted material assignment. It has the numerical append and is UV unwrapped and mapped to an image. In this instance, the UV corresponding to each face is mapped to a specific area of the bitmap, but each could be mapped to the entire image. In this way, the block could represent a single brick versus a pile or stack. On its own, the mesh won't work in IMVU. It needs an underlying parent skeleton to which it's linked. This is what IMVU uses to anchor furniture to furniture nodes in rooms, the aptly named root node. Typically, both mesh and root node will be placed at grid center or relative to how the final item is to appear when dropped onto a furniture node. So the location in the 3D viewport or workspace is important to ensure correct position in IMVU. For more complicated furniture, items that include post spots or animation, the skeleton needs to include more nodes. Seating requires seat nodes, animation, animation nodes that help control movement, all then generally linked to the root node in one way or another, depending on the product's function in use. Once everything is set up, the project can finally be exported to FBX for import and assembly in IMVU Studio. Checklist. Position projects grid center. Make sure mesh is parented to skeleton. Make sure mesh has material assignments. UV unwrap and map objects. Apply modifiers, optional if using FBX. 